this is me. On my way to Arkansas to annoy my family with personal questions about their love lives. So how did you two meet? We met on a blind date. Um, I worked with a, a friend at Monsanto and she wanted me to go up to Brawl where her boyfriend went and uh, for our St. Pat's weekend and her mom said she couldn't go unless another girl went with her. So she taught me into going up to Rolla and that's how I met him on blind date. And Joe was my friend that I was rooming with in, in college. And, uh, and that was her boyfriend, he, Barbara's boyfriend. That was Barbara's boyfriend. Yeah. And they ended up getting married and stayed married forever. And just like we did. Both of our marriages lasted. So how did you two meet? High school. I met her at her locker the first time when she was on crutches and I took her books and carried them to her first class for her. But I don't remember that and that's held against me. <laughs> and how long have you two been together now? 57 years this October. How long have you two been together now? 36 years in June, but we dated four before that, so 40 very long, long years. years. <laughs> but not everybody gets a happy ending. What has been your experience with relationships? Just a summary. Not good. Not good at all. What's been your experience with the relationships? Very, very, very hard. Relationships are very challenging. You have to do a lot of give and take and sometimes that can be very hard. What is your daughter's mom like and how what was y'all's relationship like? When we first started dating it was really good and she was a teen. I was a teen when she got pregnant and once she got pregnant the relationship just went really really bad. What was your relationship with your first husband like? It was hard. Um, we got married very young. Um, I got pregnant very quick and one of us grew up and one of us didn't and he ended up cheating with another woman and we got divorced. What was your relationship with your second husband like? The first 10 years of our relationship were um, magical. It got harder later. <laughs> We were married 24 years, and he passed away almost three years ago. And at the end, we were fighting a lot, and he died unexpectedly, and there was no way of fixing anything, no way of saying goodbye. But if there's one thing I learned when conducting these interviews, it's that there's always hope. Yeah, they all came over. You done? <laughs> pizzas and he had some cookies and uh, I took over the fruit truck. Yeah, that should be an extra footage in there. So we met in high school, kind of, we both had mutual friends that started hanging out together and um, honestly I think you're going to go to homecoming with another girl. Mm -hmm. And I was on dance team and I had some extra time that day and so kind of after that, I know you went that day but we had spent a lot of time that day but after that we started hanging out and then we started dating and the rest has been history. Yeah. So. 12 years later. <laughs> well, what made you know that you love them? Because we could always communicate and talk to each other. Yeah. And we always knew we had each other's back. And you basically you start, been so long together, you start to know what the other person's thinking. You can answer the question before it's asked. That's right. What made you know that you love them? It, it, it's not one thing. It's a multiple of things. Many things happening that all go together. So these people who say love at first sight, no. It, he was real sweet in that when we moved down to Arkansas, he was in St. Louis. He 
his whole paycheck probably went for me for long distance phone calls for flights down here and that was real sweet because at the time he was only like 19 years old most 19 year olds won't do that what made you know that you love them she puts up with me <laughs> I'm, I'm a pretty hard person i'm pretty goofy so you know if you can put up with this and uh that's true love and he calms me down so i think we balance each other really well and we make really cute kids that's true <laughs> hey why it was great What's a funny story from when you and dad were dating? So, a funny story would happen to be the very last time I saw my husband alive. Um, he had a pair of jeans on that were given to him and uh, they were really tight and so I'd made the comment that I liked the jeans on him and he started laughing and he said that they were pretty tight and so I worked night shift so I went uh, to bed and got up that next evening and I said, oh, you still got those jeans on. And he said, um, are they turning you on? And I said, yeah, kind of. And we both laughed and it's kind of nice to have our last communication be a good one. Well, when I was in high school, after a wrestling meet, uh, Carolyn at the time was standing at the front of the gym and I walked in and I smacked her on her butt not knowing that her mother was standing next to her. And so I just went on with my stuff and later that night I went to pick her up for a Friday night date and her father was in his uh, living room cleaning his shotgun and wanted to know what I was doing hitting his daughter in the butt. But it all worked out. Well, we're not sure yet. It's only been four years. We're not sure if this is going to work or not, but you We're know. still testing the water. Yeah, every year's a challenge. I don't know if we really had any funny stories or anything like that. I mean, he used to be sweet to like wait on me after school. Like, I did. So. Anytime like I would see her and I don't know if this is like a really funny story or anything But it was just something I would always say anytime I see her in the hallway, especially before we were dating um, You know, I would always tell her I would always yell at her and tell her go to class and It was just something small, but it, you know, I would say it every day to her it, it, No matter where she was at I was you know, I guess it was kind of like a little uh, flirting. Our fl flirting. <laughs> My way of flirting, you know, I wasn't the best at it, but but it seemed also, to work. You also had the option to like go home after a certain period, but you actually stayed at school so that you could either walk me to my, my last class and kind of be there for the rest of the day for the most part so I could see you after school. Yeah. So, really sweet moments back yeah. in the day. At the end of the day, I think I learned a lot from this expedition. If not learned, then felt, if that makes sense. No matter who you are, relationships can always be rocky. But there are times where the sun shines through the clouds and it really makes everything you try worth it. <laughs>